What's good, Gemini? Magic Demon Magician Tarot. This is your November monthly for November 2018. So, hope y'all been good. Happy Halloween. Let's see what's going on with you guys in your life, love, and career. Where are you on your cosmic journey? So on and so forth. Let's see. Welcome back. And if you're new, like, share, and subscribe. Okay, Page of Cups. So you guys are feeling brand new. Uh, definitely some sort of emotional discovery that's brand new or some sort of a relationship that you're just now starting to be forthcoming about your emotions about, which we know sometimes for the air sign people, it's going to be a little bit scary. So a feeling of tentative newness in the beginning of the month as far as your emotions and what's going on. So you guys are definitely listening to some music. Maybe you and someone have discovered a shared interest in a certain kind of music. Okay, could be getting over an air sign or could be getting uh, into some squabbles with a boss at work or some sort of authority figure, father, if this isn't a lover. This person could be dark hair, more masculine. I'm getting a little bit of stinginess. So either somebody's not cooperating with you or not sharing with you very well or you had a relationship that might have ended. So that's the Page of Cups and our King of Pentacles. Two people coming out so far for you, my gem gems, for the month of November. Okay, who are these people? Definitely have another air, uh, another Earth sign trying to pop out. Okay, Devil in Reverse. Some of you guys are saying no to bad habits in November. Maybe you made some sort of promise to yourself looking forward to, like, Thanksgiving. You might be getting ready to do a little bit of self-sacrifice or a little bit of change in your habits. That seems like a good thing. Double in reverse. Or coming out of some sort of contract with maybe this earth sign. And um, maybe some of you guys have been a little materialistic in the past. However, a new job opportunity is definitely opening up for you. Or... Uh, Possible inheritance or good decision when it comes to money is now starting to pay off or you've just now identified a new... Here she is again, this Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so before when I was saying another earth sign, here she is. Just wanted to pop out again. Alright, so some of you guys frustrated for the month of November, okay? We have our six cards. We'll do three more. Even though you have a new job... Kind of hung up on what this King of Pentacles has to say about you. Okay, not feeling like you have a lot of options. Maybe somebody kind of either kicked you out or fired you. And they made you feel crappy about yourself. But you have a new job coming at you this month. Okay, Knight of Pentacles, that's good. So, a lot of Pentacles here. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Really good for you guys. A lot of Earth energy. And then an Ace of Swords in reverse. So I think whatever this Eight of Swords energy is, where you're feeling frustrated, you're bound and gad, not really speaking up, not really um, having very restful sleep. So at some point in the month, you're going to be a little bit torn, maybe between this King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. So either you have two different job opportunities one that's a little bit more in tune with your more adventurous and forceful side and another that's more like maternal. So maybe some of you guys are thinking about going back into teaching or going back into caregiving of some kind. But you also have another job that could be a little bit more challenging and yet financially you have to move on to the new opportunity in November. And then... I see you guys coming forth as the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess by the end of the month. So definitely, when you get this Ace of Swords out of the reverse, we're going to look further into what that is, and you'll be feeling like your old self again. And I think this Ace of Pentacles, whatever you think that could be, this is pretty much a sign that you're right on point. Whatever you think you have a hunch about, apply. You might be thinking, should I reach out to this Queen of Pentacles, this Earth sign, this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, about that job? Yes. Should you let go of the crappy relationship with this King of Pentacles, whether that's a job relationship or a romantic relationship? Absolutely yes. 
Now let's find out what is this case of swords energy for my gem gems. For the month of November. What's going on with my gem gems? Gem gems. Hmm. Little sangria. Ooh, a big transformation is coming your way. Maybe some of you guys are actually going to be becoming a mother yourself. You may be being visited by your mother. If she's departed or she's far away, she might actually just be coming to visit you. And you're ready to make this new step. And I definitely got some goosebumps on that one. So some of you guys may be pregnant. Good for you. That's good. <laughs> I got your high priestess energy, so you're definitely in some sort of spiritual realm, and you're saying no to bad habits. So maybe that might be why you're not drinking, not smoking, because you could be pregnant. And the page of cups could be the promise of a new, a new life and a new change. You might be ready to make a change because of could be pregnant, or like I said, you could be going back into a more um, nurturing role at work and saying goodbye to a more competitive. Masculine energy might have uh, had a little bit of falling out with whoever this boss was or your baby daddy You might have not a very great relationship. So here's this tower card unfortunately, and I think that's where this ace of swords energy is You have to tell either a fellow air sign the truth or Whoever your baby daddy is whoever your partner is Whoever you thought was like your best friend and your partner, somebody's holding back a secret. You got a two of swords here in reverse. So you're not making a decision. You're not even thinking about making a decision. You may not be aware that they're making a decision or they might be. Um, you're not, I think, seeing the other job opportunity right now. And that's why this two of swords is in reverse. Let's do a couple more clarifiers from the rock arc tarot. Let's bring a little bit of color. I think there's definitely some good news. Good news coming in terms of money. Good news coming in terms of a transformation. So continuing your relationship or you have a strong bond with your mother. Oh my gosh, Town Cups. See? So looking on the bright side for the month of November. Leave this earth sign, whoever this person was, who makes you feel not so talented. Or that's a boss or an ex-lover in the past. Because you definitely have a beautiful family coming your way. This is the Ten of Cups. Let's pull one more. My gem gems for the month of November. So common themes here. New job, moving on to a new job, transformation, uh, new opportunities in family, whether that be a pregnancy or a new relationship. Okay, yeah. All right. So got ourselves here a Knight of Cups. This could be the new person coming into your life or the new job opportunity coming into your life. So here we go here. Defender of Emotions. Okay. This card represents advancement, needing constant stimulation. A figure temporarily transforms from the physical body into an etheric form, which I think has to do with this high priestess energy that you have. Antennas extend from the shoulders of the figure as supports that could be used for defense against aggression or spiritual umbilical cords for astral travel. So this is really interesting. Like I said before, I think you're having either dreams about your mother or you might be being visited by your mother, which is this high priestess energy. You've definitely had this queen of pentacles energy before. You might have an earth sign mother or some sort of like aunt or cousin, sister, or person, regardless of gender, with uh, a nurturing energy towards you. And this is you moving forward more in that cups energy. So you might be expecting, if you are expecting a child, they could be like a water side child. So think about when your baby is due. It could be due in, um, they could be, you know, due to be or destined to be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or you could have somebody coming towards you that is a water sign that's very ambitious very kind, very loving, that's going to move forward in a completely different way than this King of Pentacles in reverse. And it's going to be definitely more health conscious I'm getting. They're going to be, maybe they don't drink anymore. They might be, um, might have been an alcoholic at some point and they're not. So romance, 
romance coming your way, Jam Jams. Definitely, if you're not having a baby, then you're having a new relationship, and it's a beautiful thing. Because you got a Ten of Cups, you got the High Priestess, you got the Ace of Pentacles. The only issue for the month for you guys is you got to be careful to always tell the truth if you want to avoid this Tower moment. Or somebody's coming forward with a moment that might be a little bit destructive to your psyche, to your ego. But be conscious of just clinging toward that maternal energy, whoever that is, if it's you, whatever. All right, Gem Gems, deuces, peace, love, magic, demon, magician, tarot, like, share, and subscribe. Below, deuces.